Marlene Reynolds is the proud owner of a Texas Longhorn cow. Come on. We got her two years ago. She was the very first cow I ever bought. Affectionately named Annie Get Your Gun, this bovine has Marlene's near constant attention, even when Marlene is not right by her side. We can check their internal temperature, the outdoor temperature, how many steps they've taken, how many times she's coming to water, and how far out in the pasture she's going. How exactly? <laughs> Using these ear tags, which record a variety of biometric information about the animals that wear them. They're the best. Melissa Brandau is the founder of Herd Dog, a Colorado company that's now selling these smart tags. Brandau has a background in agriculture technology. One day she was visiting some ranchers. And they started talking about their big problem, which was gathering data from the animals' tags when the animals were out in pasture. It's nearly impossible. Not anymore. With the help of Bluetooth technology, cattle owners can learn much more about their cows and steers' activity and health. A snapshot, as it were, of what's going on with the animal. Herd animals are able to disguise their illnesses for two or three days. It's a protective thing to guard against predators. Well, now that sort of information can be known immediately. And if you're really accurate. When it comes to livestock, technology is making its presence felt more and more. Drones round up cattle in Australia. These wearable tech cowlars help increase milk production in Pakistan. 7992. Let's do a 7992. All right, that is a red steer. Rancher Mark Frazier uses yeah. this device to manage his cattle and, most importantly, their weight. Now I have the ability to track back and find which animals grew well for us and which animals didn't. And I can use that in making purchasing decisions. And that's something that just simply wasn't possible 15 or 20 years ago. We've heard from people. Um, all over the world. Brandau calls her $10 ear tags an enhancement. You can't replace humans, she says. This is kind of the next wave, so we call it precision livestock. And some more. It's the way yeah, things are going, Marlene tells us. Her Annie even has a Twitter account. Hoping to get a lot of babies out of her. And information. And information. <laughs> Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Ellicott, Colorado.